Hi there Huskies, it's Rachel Brockman and I wanted to take a couple of moments to show you how to get your content from your old Schoology courses that may have been archived at the end of the school year. Uh, all Schoology courses that we uh, finish teaching at the end of the school year are archived, um, but the content is still there. You've just got to know how to get to it. So I'm going to show you how to locate, uh, access your content, and then restore it and save it into your resources in Schoology. So what you'll need to do is go to Courses in Schoology. You're going to then click on My Courses on the right-hand side. And this will take you to all the courses that you currently teach. But if you look right here, you'll also notice a button that's called archived. It'll have all the courses that you also have had access to in the past that you have taught. So once you click on the archived button, you're going to scroll down looking for the class that you want the content to be restored. So I would like to restore this content right here. So I click on the course number for that class. I'm going to click on it. It brings up all the content, all the folders from the previous course, and now all I need to do is to save it into my resources. To do that, you're just going to scroll up here to the top, click on Options. You're going to click on Save Course to Resources, and then you're going to choose your destination folder. So in collection, you can save it to if you have a group, like a grade level group, or maybe you work in a content um, PLC and y'all created a group to share resources, you can save it in a group, or you can just save it directly to your resources by just clicking home. So I'm going to click home. And then within home, I've got lots of folders here I could save it in, or I can just create a new folder that has the content in it by just um, leaving it no folder. Go ahead and click Submit, and it will bring your old archived content over into Resources. To check it, and just to make sure that it's there, you're going to go up to Resources, and then you're going to scroll down to the bottom of your Resources. And what you should see is a new folder at the bottom that has the date uh, that you brought that archived content over. Um, you might notice that mine is not hyperlinked yet. Um, depending on how much content you have in your course, it may take a few moments for everything to get copied over. So just be patient. Uh, it should um, turn into a hyperlink and you'll be able to click and go right in and see all the content that you created in your original course. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or need some help, reach out to me, um, Rachel Brock, Rachel.Brockman at TrustfulCitySchools.com.